Hello, welcome back. So, I'm going to have a semi ramble, semi vlog, vlog, semi closing haul. I smell again. I smell like Jorvik. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> Honestly, I don't, my hormones must be changing. This, this must be it. This must be the moment when I move into the horrific point in life where I can just whinge on social media all the time. Um, yeah. I'm not going to do it. I, I, I'd rather get pregnant than cease the possibility of pregnancy. <laughs> right anyway stuff which i've picked up to sell there's not much of it um the last two charity shops that i've been to i went i've been to a charity shop this morning um absolute garbage nothing there um which is annoying because one of them i haven't been to for like at least three weeks um and all they seem to have done is culled a load of stuff and thrown it away but not actually replaced it with anything that people want to purchase um so who even knows um so i have shot out this morning and i've done my post which i would have shown you but it was annoying me and then i and the weather was annoying me because it looked like it was going to start absolutely crashing with rain um and i don't i don't know if it's going to rain or not but it feels like i've got enough lights to take photos so i am going to do this small haul and get these things prepped and photographed just so that I can add it to this pile of stuff. This is actually still wet. Um, this is a return. Um, but it's one of, it, what, that, this is one of those returns. Yeah, this is one of those returns. Uh, you, know, you know the buyer. Um, and they weren't satisfied with how it looks and then sent me a bunch of pictures of them wearing it. Um, but I did make an error on listing that. Lord only knows why. Probably because I keep rushing through listing stuff and not paying much attention. My intention today is to get these things photographed. I've got some shoes there that need photographing because I prepped them last week and haven't done them. And then I've, these bits are going to go on eBay because I just I can't be asked with any other platform other than eBay because... Um, I've got a overtime at work and then I'm going on holiday so I don't have time to be faffing around with anything else and having been in the post office behind somebody who was doing that QR code thing it just vintage looks so aggravating so things that I've sold this morning so I am aggravated because I've done a lot of auctions all of which have like come to an end um, so Sunday night, the Sunday night auctions were a complete letdown. Well, not a complete letdown, but barely anything sold, even though they were like enticing prices. And, you know, I think I like sold two things on a offer and one thing on the auction. Um, and that, that was randomly to Italy. And then the stuff which ended last night. So one of them, the one, the thing that I have posted, which um, sold for its maiden bid of $9.99, which was a Merino cardigan um, by me and M, which did have that floor on it, which I had repaired. And I'd done quite a good job of repairing it. However, it had 19 watches. 19, not nine, 19. You know, Paul Hardcastle, 19 um but they were just watches they were pro so so now what so now your auctions have got you have you have your, your normal listings which have fake watches so now your auctions have fake watches too that is really annoying um i've had a lot of like really good things no bids which have gone on to um be relisted i mean it's not work that i'm having to do because i've put them on auto relist it's just weird it doesn't make any sense um and i was hoping that it would clear out a lot of it because now i've like 
now I've got to think about what I'm doing in terms of the fact that I'm going away um, as how many of these auctions I've got ending. Um, which I knew that I would have auctions that I'd have to like rethink when they were ending, but not to this extent. Um, I also had a jacket. This person hasn't paid for this jacket. And that was a jigsaw wool jacket. It had a floor on it. So I put that on auction and that has sold for $9.99 on its maiden bid. And that one had some 12 watches on it. So I don't know. To me, it feels like eBay are trying so hard to emulate everything that Vinted has done is that they've taken Vinted's awful search engine 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 and you know those those watch the, the fact that people say that they always get like lots of views and 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 watches on vintage i think is also probably fake i think a lot of it is people i think they count those watches on vintage when it appears in that sh stupid stream that they put in front of people i'm sure that they count that as watchers, um, as in people that they've put it in front of, because it doesn't it doesn't lay out exactly where it's come from. Whereas on eBay, you can click into it and it will say that you've had like a traffic of a thousand people, but that's like traffic. Traffic is different to people who've actually watched it. Ah, uh, it's just the whole thing just does my head in, um, because it doesn't make sense. If you had nineteen watchers on an item it should sell for more than its maiden bid should it not it's just peculiar and the other stuff which has had watchers which hasn't sold at all i just all find it all <sighs> it's like ebay was once good and they've tried to make it something else instead of you know it's like being beautiful and then going out and getting a nose job and having fillers in your lips and the rest of it and like, um, you know, doing a Leslie Ash and like completely fucking your face up and forgetting that you were actually attractive to begin with. You know, who you were to begin with was perfection. And you've seen other people's like version of themselves and wanted to be like that and forgotten who you were. And that's what eBay's doing. This is damp as well because I've washed it. Right, anyway, I a load of this has gone through the wash because it was, you know. <laughs> yeah, this had some very erroneous. Yeah, it's had a white mark on the back. Let's just leave it at that. So this is the specials. It's just a tour, nine, 2019. Um, it probably won't even sell for that much. Lord only knows why I've picked it up. Um, just need my head testing. All of my band t-shirts I've got under the category of music, so I won't even get no, um, fee, uh, fee relief on a lot of my music stuff unless I shift the <laughs> the listing over. Um, yeah. So I've paid £3 for that. I should get 20 Yeah. And then I found a pair of fat face jeans the right type of fat face jeans only pick up you know the flared fat face jeans again these are damp because these have gone through the wash i just want to sort it and get it dealt with um 12 regular flared they look better now that they've had a wash A lot of this stuff probably didn't need it. Well, it did need a wash. It did need a wash. Um, this certainly needed a wash because I couldn't get near it. It was so gross. I don't know. Um, it was absolutely stinking. You know, another reason why it would be nice to not deal with clothes on a regular basis. I'm really itching to get on with my Lego, but I know that I need to get rid of all of this clothing which is piled up edwin um the jeans i've paid three pounds for this i've paid possibly four pounds for um and it's just large it's just a, a you know a basic like work shirt um but like i say it stank and obviously it isn't jeans so 
is it really is it really that good it's still only going to be a 20 quidder it's not even it's not half of it's not worth the hassle is it I'm just, my heart is just not enclosed at the minute <laughs> you know even with you know with re re reduced fees let's just call it reduced fees it all just feels it all just feels like hard work i've got this really beautiful dress here um i know that i've sold some really nice monsoon dresses silk dresses but they're on the larger size and this is a flipping size 10. um but i love i love these ones um, and then when I looked on my thing, I realised that, yeah, I told them in the summer, I've still got another one that looks exactly like this, which I've got listed for 35. So I think possibly I need to list these for 30 or maybe 25 and stop being greedy. Monsoon, 100% silk, but, you know, also really gorgeous. I'm just tempted to, like, not list anything for too much money while I can get no fees on it but it's so up and down if I showed you my graph on eBay you would so last week I had four hundred pound days so it was a hundred a hundred and hundred and then it just suddenly went donk and then I had t ten pound days and I've had ten pound days since um and it's just very disheartening it's just very disheartening and who can who can even deal with that this this looks like a rag now that i look at it there's all these bloody fibers hanging off the bottom of it oh, it's because it's this raw edge business what is it with this raw edge hem that companies keep putting on their clothes is it so that they fall to pieces and they have to go re-shopping? Right, so this is COS. I've done quite well with COS. Um, so, yeah, actually this morning, the only... So I went out with two things. One was that auction and one was a COS t-shirt, a men's COS t-shirt, which I've only just listed. And that sold for 15, uh, which is what I was expecting. So, you know, there is, there is money in COS. At one point, I stopped picking it up. Uh, but yeah a small top and it is nicely pleated at the front but it has got this raw edge so now I've got to fiddle around with that I can't remember what I paid for that three I think this I've definitely paid three for this is another silk top but this is all saints so this should do okay yeah I think I think this will do okay I've got a lot of Ted Baker silk which isn't selling let's face it Ted Baker doesn't sell or whatsoever anyway oh and it's a size 14 um so it's nice layered silk top shouldn't have any trouble getting 25 for that because of what it is and this is bay trading because it just cannot resist just a little slip dress <laughs> I just can't I just can't resist bay trading and it's bay trading kids of today it's bay trading we only ever called it bay trading uh, I've just hoovered and this has got hairs on it I don't particularly want cat hairs in my gaff yeah I just I cannot resist a bay trading thing it's got sequins on it as well I just love it three pounds too many cat hairs it's absolutely ditched in cat hair oh, let's sort this out now so i've already downgraded my ebay store so i don't have to tolerate this seller tape anymore this tape the first definitely the first bit of it doesn't have that much adhesive so it's just very annoying Just want to collect that up before it applies itself to the next garment that I put on top of it. It's a fair amount of hair there. <laughs> yeah, I won't miss this tape. Maybe I will miss this tape. <laughs> Maybe I'll, you know, miss it so much that I'll scream into the night.
doubtful. Oh look, this one's got a feather in it. The piece of tape which I've laid down has managed to apply itself to the floor. It's only doing it because I've just hoovered. <sighs> Right, so that's YMC. I've done quite well with my YMC, but then I've also underpriced a lot of my YMC. Um, but saying that, one of the YMC came back. So that was fun. <laughs> uh, yeah, so just a polo top, long sleeve. Shouldn't be any problem getting 25 to 30 for that. Let's say 25. I don't want to be overzealous. And last thing. I say last thing. This is the last thing. Um, but it's not for resale, but I will show it to you because it is a good resale. Uh, so this is Orvis. It's not the old Orvis. This is Costco Orvis, but it's a nice work shirt, which my husband was eyeing up, but it's not quite in his size. It won't fit him in the shoulders. Um, but it is, I think it's a, yeah, it's an XL. Um, but yeah, really good. It's just a shame that the Costco ones don't sell for that much um, but m maybe I'm wrong maybe I need to do a bit of research but the last time I researched um, it was a bit dead <laughs> and then this thing that I've got here is downfall so this has got a load of pieces missing so I will have to get replacements um, and it's had a price tag on it and it's torn the front of it the reason I have bought this is because this game this specific version this is 1977 no it's says 1970 this specific version of it anyway was the version that my brother had and when i was clearing out his stuff i sold it and i kind of massively regret it because you don't really see these around that much um and i really wish that i just kept his version of it because I'll always know that this isn't his his version. It, it's it's really strange. Yeah, it's really strange, but this is this is childhood memories of me playing this with my brother. And the thing is, is that regardless of me having this game, I'll never play a game of downfall again with my brother. So. What does it matter? Whether that's probably why I got rid of it the first time because. I'll never play a game of downfall with my brother. He used to be so good at it and it didn't matter how good you were at it. He always found a way of winning. Um, but there you go. Just be careful if you're doing a clear out of a dead relative, just be careful what you actually get rid of. Um, I was just watching a video of somebody, a little kid buying Christmas decorations. <laughs> um, and. I think the thing is about Christmas decorations, you see, I I always have a hard time at Christmas because the Christmas decorations that I put on the Christmas tree are the ones from my childhood. And I always remember my brother setting them spinning <laughs> because the light used to catch them. Um, and then there's the ones that my grandmother had. And it's, you know, it's hard going in that way. Maybe that's why, like, people have a new Christmas theme every year so that they don't have to deal with heartache. But, you know, <sighs> anyway... Yeah, if you if you do actually find one of these to resell, it's a good 40 quid. And that's the prices that they go on eBay because because that's the prices that they go for on eBay. But yeah, I I really I really should keep hold of that. But they but then you see that's it though. At some point I'm probably going to look at that and it's going to annoy me. It's going to upset me and then I'll get rid of it because that kind of I think that's what happens and I go through these emotions but you see I should have gone through those emotions when I showed you that specials t-shirt because that was something that my brother listened to I think that's why I came back with the specials t-shirt <laughs> very strange life is very strange when it comes to grief um yeah I can't believe I've hoovered here and it's just covered in bits. <laughs> right, anyway, my job for today, I'm going to get these little bits photographed. Um, I've got the ironing board out ready. I'm going to get these bits ironed just to get that last little bit of damp 
photographless out of them and I'm going to photograph them. Uh, the light, it's overcast, um, but that means that there's no shadows. It's midday light. This should be okay. So I'm going to do photographs and get a shot of their stuff. Um, I would then like... I wouldn't like to do my tax return. I just know that I need to do my tax return because the months keep arriving and ending like instantaneously and I still haven't done my tax return. So I'm very annoyed with myself. I also need to finish doing stop take there of my Lego because the sum total of the Lego that I have is a very small box that sat there. Um, so I need to do that. And then I need to work out if... Oh God, I don't know what I'm doing. I'm just going to tackle this one bit today. I'm not going to like, I'm not going to try and like overstretch myself because I know that I've only got two days next week because I'm working. Um, and then obviously I'm going away. <laughs> so I need to try and work out where the hell I am with everything. Um, so I'm just going to try and get through this clothing. This is including the stuff that's already on this buffet. 30 items so this is what I'm going to get listed today and I'm going to upload this and I will be back tomorrow slash probably Monday actually and tell you exactly where I've got with everything so goodbye thank you for watching and I'll be back soon with an update <laughs>